Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I hope you're having a great day. And I just want to ask you this question. Um, who are your friends? I mean, do you, do you have a lot of friends? Do you have a few friends? Are you friendless? See, when I was growing up, I moved a lot. 15 houses, first 18 years of my life. I was always the new kid and I didn't have a lot of friends. It was hard to make friends when you kind of figured you're going to be moving again in the next year or so. Uh, and so my, my best friend growing up was my older brother. He's three years older than me, and, uh, and he was a consistent friend in my life. Uh, we did everything together, but being the younger brother to an older brother, I was pretty much a slave and did whatever he wanted to do. Uh, but now I'm blessed with so many friends, uh, great family that I enjoy being with. It's really amazing. But the very best friend that I have uh, is a friend that I've had since uh, I was eight years old when I asked Jesus to be my Savior. And he came into my life, he changed my life, and, and he's been with me ever since. Uh, listen to John chapter uh, 15, verses 12 through 15. This is Jesus talking to his disciples. He says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. Uh, Jesus calls us friends. Now, understand, we are family with God, because when we trust Jesus as Savior, we're adopted into God's family, and He calls us sons and daughters, and, and, and we are servants of God. We're, we're privileged to lead other people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus, and all the different ways that we serve God, it's a blessing to represent Him to this world. But we are also friends. Jesus calls us friends. Now think about that. That means that Jesus wants to spend time with you. Now, if you don't like someone, you don't want to spend time with them. In fact, you try to avoid them, get out of going over to their house, whatever. But if you like somebody, if you like spending time with them, you want to be with them, then you initiate and say, hey, let's get together. Let's hang out. What are you doing? Want to go to dinner? Want to do a road trip? Uh, see, that's what friends do. And Jesus wants to spend time with you. Jesus wants to hang out with you, personally, you. Not just us in a generic sense, but you. He wants to be your friend. And, and this is amazing good news. I, I hope this resonates with your soul that you matter to Jesus. Jesus is calling you. He's texting you. He's messaging you. He's saying, hey, what are you doing? Let's spend some time together. Uh, so Jesus is doing that because he's our friend. What's your response to him? What's your response to Jesus wanting to be your friend? Are you, are you too busy for Jesus? Do you always give him excuses why you can't hang out, why you won't spend time with him? Uh, if that's the case, then you need to probably uh, check your priorities. Are you uninterested in Jesus? He's reaching out saying, hey, do you want to hang out? And you're really just going, hey, I don't want to be with you. You know, if, you're, if your life isn't really where it's supposed to be, that's what we tend to do. That's why we tend to avoid church or we avoid our Christian friends or we avoid our pastors when we're not living the way that honors God. Uh, so uh, if that's the case, then you probably ought to repent and change the direction your life's going. Or maybe you're just afraid to spend time with Jesus. You're nervous. You're intimidated. Uh, can I just tell you, don't be because he loves you just like you are and he really just wants to be with you. So Jesus wants to hang out with you. Can I encourage you to be his friend too? The way you do that is read his word. You know, we believe here at Calvary that if you read and apply God's word, God really will change your life because you're spending time with your friend. Pray. No matter how much you pray, pray more. Invite God to be a part of the conversation. Don't just tell him what your needs are, but listen to him as well. And worship. Worship is a great way to spend time with Jesus, uh, reminding yourself and telling him how thankful you are and grateful that he has saved you and he loves you. And of course, serve. You really want to hang out with Jesus? Find people that are hurting, that are needy, that are broken. 
and bring life and blessing and encouragement to them. Because it's amazing that God wants to call us his friend. But really, what kind of friend are you being to Jesus? Hey, look, I hope this blesses you and encourages you today. Have a beautiful day. God bless.